Siri, tell me a baby joke. How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? Ten tickles. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Kelsey, I'm single, and today we are back playing the 100 Baby Challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have a matriarch, and they are supposed to have 100 children, all with different parents. There's a lot of rules to this challenge, if you're interested in those, the link will be below. So we've decided to start a 100 Baby Challenge newsletter, it's going to give you all of the up-to-date news about the 100 Baby Challenge, all of the spin-offs, when all of the live events are happening, and they'll all go straight to your email, so if you want to sign up for that, the link will be below, and at the end of this video. So make sure to check that out if you're interested in it all. So you can get all the latest 100 baby news straight to your email and get all the notifications so you're on top of it. Last week, we finally felt like we were back in a rhythm with the family. I'm gonna be strategic about this. I'm gonna hold my teens like the right moment and then age them out so I will never again have triplets. So let's get to that baby making that we all cherish. Okay, we're back in the Apisha Schmidt household. Aw, Casey, she's brunette. She's She's in a dressing gown. She is ready to go. I feel like I'm gonna just cycle through. When there's too many brunettes in the house, I'll turn her back blonde. When there's too many blondes, I'll turn her back to brunette. <laughs> Let's see where everybody's at. We got Ever. Ever looks pretty sad. Jake looks pretty sleepy, so that's good. Who is ready to be aged up? We got Blair. Brendan, no! I don't want Brendan to leave us. It's Blair and Brendan are ready to go. Okay, so let's have Hope do her homework. And then she still needs a skill to level three. Logic, so after she does her homework, she'll do more chess. You need a skill to level three and homework hasn't been started. All right, so why don't you do your homework and then your mixology skills like pretty good. So you'll do some more mixology. Birthday cake time. Let's have you invite over your dad. And then who is Brendan's dad? Is it also a foo? Yeah, it is. We'll invite over a foo to help with the party festivities. Oh no, your babies need you. Super efficient baby care, we got it again? Oh, heck yeah! Your dad's here! Tell a story. Both of you welcome your dad. I'm so happy you're here, dad, to celebrate our birthdays together. Okay, Brendan's gonna go say hi and join the family vibe here. And Casey, is taking a well-earned sleep. You do you, girl, because you just popped out two babies, so it's okay. Go over here and blow out these candles. Happy birthday. Wait, where'd your dad go? Dad, don't go outside. Blair aged up. She is going to be a super parent, just like her mama. She's outgoing, a nerd, and a genius. So she's gonna be amazing out there. I love her, our genius queen that's gonna be a mom extraordinaire. Happy birthday, Brendan. I'm so proud of you. Our animal lover, music lover, and child of the ocean. Oh my goodness. Good job, buddy. It's been so good to have you guys both in the house and I'm so sorry that you have to leave. All right, buddies. We had to do it, even if it hurts my soul. Gotta make more babies. Great, okay, now we need to call over. Sai! I know it's late, it's a booty call. We're both aware of it. And he's sleeping. Rats, okay. Hope is chatting with Chelsea. Chelsea, no! Get out of the shower! Chelsea, don't you do this. Chelsea, stop! She didn't break it this time. Why don't you compliment Chelsea on her ability to not break my shower? Hope just finished her homework like such a good girl. She's so good. So she's gonna go do some chess because she likes chess. Bella's practicing her mixology like a boss. And then Brooke is sleeping and then we'll do her homework and then she just needs to do fitness. She's so close. She's like, listen, mom, I love you to pieces, but honestly, you really need to stop ruining all of my plumbing. Jake, I'm so sorry. Let's go officially baby care baby. They're on the first floor. I guess that's really convenient to have Casey on the first floor with the Todds so that she doesn't have to go downstairs to take care of Todds. Oh, I love the baby area. It's so cute of the new house. Please ask him to leave. She's like a little bit of a loner. She doesn't like having combos. I know you want to sleep, but these drinks wait for no man or woman. Yeah, Bella, she's acquired the mischief skill. I see my Bella as being quite mischievous. All right, Afu, see you later. She's still pushing through. Proud of you, sweetie. You're almost done. Yay, you leveled up your mixology skill. Good job, sweetheart. Now you can just do whatever you want. She is getting up there. We love this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And I know, I know you're almost, ah, fork. No, don't sleep in a tent. Stop trying to sleep in tents. Ah, fork, okay, you really need to sleep. Okay, well, go to your bed. You're cooking outside. Ah! This is 
why we don't have grills. This is why we don't have grills. Oh my gosh, someone extinguished this. Oh my gosh, Chelsea's like having a heart attack. She's like, I remember this. Heck yeah, Chelsea. This is why we don't have grills in the Apichishmay family. I knew it. I knew it was trouble from the start. Oh, poor Bella's enraged. Oh, Bella, go to bed, you poor thing. Well, Brooke, if you wanna help out, why don't you change that dirty diaper? It's love day! You know what that means? It means that Casey can invite someone to hang out at the current lot. Sai, you wanna come over and uh, celebrate love day with me? Sai is still sleeping? Go to bed in your bed, you goon. Oh gosh, you're so close to your level of skill. Okay, just work out, just work out. You need to get your skill at a level three. What was your skill? Logic, okay, you're so close. Oh my gosh, your baby's upset. That's what our girl does. She cares for her babies efficiently. Yes, Hope, reach that level logic. There you go, you're on fire, girl. Is it too early still? Are you still sleeping? How late does this man sleep? All right, it's 747, it's time to wake up. Rise and shine, baby, it's time to make babies. <laughs> He'll be right over, that's the right time. 7.56, a perfect time. Looks like the girls are off to school, perfect. Why don't you just embrace him for love day? No, 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 it's your love day celebration has begun. Please go to school, all of my girls are miserable. Yes, happy love day. Try for baby intent. It's gonna be intense. Oh no, our baby's crying. But he looks pretty amped about this tent. Oh, he's running past her. He's like, I'm ready. I'm gonna go to the tent. I'll see you there. I'll check in there. I haven't seen the woohoo in the tent yet. She's like, come through. And he says, aha. Oh, very cute. Very tent-like. How's the baby? Stinky. I'm sorry, Jake. Meanwhile, uh-huh. That's how babies are made. Just clean fun in a tent. Oh, she's feeling inspired after having a woohoo in a tent. That's a mood. Go get that pregnancy test. You gotta double check before your boy heads out. Not pregnant, no! I'll try for a baby with Sai again. Who's calling? One of our kids needs help. Tope was caught using her phone to look up answers. Field quiz, do not cheat. Pichishme family rule. We don't cheat and we love garden salads. Make love day flower cards. Yeah, make a heartfelt card. Bella got embarrassed from making a, oh, everyone made fun of her. I feel like they'd make fun of you either way. I don't think you can win that scenario. Let's try hilarious this time. They were very funny. They loved it. Okay, well, there you go. We got a second chance. Royalty report. 10 outfits to wear while pregnant is doing quite well. Whoop, there it goes. Love Day School Party. All week at school, kids have been asking their sweethearts to the annual Love Day School Party. There will be cookies and punch music and the exchanging of flowers and cards, and of course, awkward chaperones. Brooke has yet to be asked, so she has two options, go alone or invite someone. Invite someone, Brooke! Oh! It took most of the day for Brooke to work up the nerve and ask that special sim to the party, but it was totally worth it. Brooke stole shy glances at her date as they congregated along the wall and awkwardly chatted about their classes. Take your pregnancy test. By the time the party was over, Brooke's heart was a flutter. And also we're eating for two! Yeah, buddy, let's go. She's gonna tell him the news. I've got a baby! Really? Yeah! He congratulated her. Second time, you know, never give up. I know you're sleepy, just take care of this baby. Yep, there you go. Flip that baby up in the air, it'll be good to go. And then you just get to sleep. That was an intense 24 hours. Yay! Bella's back. Hope's grades are up, and so are Brooks. Oh my goodness. Good job, Brooke. And Hope, you guys are looking fantastic. Tegan's here! Oh my goodness, wait, give him some residence keys so that Tegan can go over whenever he wants. We wanna keep track of you. We wanna find out if you live your vampire daddy dreams. Get some grilled cheese in ya. Food of champions, that grilled cheese. Is Tegan just out there sitting on the pool floaty alone in the pool? Yes, and he's freezing. Okay, well please don't freeze to death because it'll really upset your mom. He just came over to use the pool, hasn't even said hi to his pregnant mother. Brooks an A student, Hope is an a student as well. Okay, so they're ready to go. Post some updates. Ooh, she's closing in on a thousand followers. That's pretty cool. Travel, fashion tips, herbalism, and a sad vlog. She can do another fashion tips, the sequel to what she's already done. Ooh, look at her. She's crushing it. It's almost Ever's birthday and Jake. We're gonna have our first Todd's in the house. Tomorrow is Todd day. And I feel like if I can conquer five Todd's at once, I can conquer anything. So this one's gonna be five, outfits to attract bays. Perfect. Let's edit that video. Oh no, Ever's upset. Take care of your baby. Hope is gonna get some grilled cheese. Oh no, Jake needs stuff. You know, these babies don't leave you 
with much downtime. Are you making your own grilled cheese? She wanted a fresh grilled cheese. Honestly, leftover grilled cheese, I kind of doubt would be good. Apparently no one had a good love day but Casey, which honestly, I'm not that surprised about. She was inspired to cook and she's also sad about love day. I mean, get in line. Everybody apparently is sad about love day. Why don't you clean that? Mom would really appreciate you helping around the house. Hope really likes to play chess, so maybe we'll have Hope play chess. She's still working hard. What a good mom. Casey's really transitioning over. I still think of her as kind of a young mom. I think she's doing her best. I think she's running a pretty solid household. Video has been successfully edited and can't be edited anymore. Awesome. Upload that video really fast and then you can go eat. You're so sad. Why are you so sad? Lost in the family, losing a parent. Wait, what? Wait, who is her parent? <gasps> Wait, does that mean that Bella's dad died too? Oh no. Oh no, Bella's crying in the closet. He's a klepto? There's a lot of kleptomaniacs out there apparently in The Sims. She can box while pregnant, but she can't do yoga while pregnant? That doesn't track. I think people can do yoga while pregnant depending on what it is. She's also in heels while pregnant. Oh, she's trash talking the bag. Oh, I'm so glad I saw this moment. Bella's so sad. She really needed that support today. Are you pretty good? You haven't started your homework yet. Maybe you should do your homework, Hope. I think this is the first significant other that she's lost. This is the first time this family has experienced this, so it's pretty hard. Go cook some grilled cheese for your family while they're mourning. Mom's watching some comedy on TV, feeling a little kooky. That's good. Snack attack. She attacks those snacks. Maybe you can do your homework that way after you're done, just in case. I don't want them to like grade down by not doing their homework. I don't know if that's an option. Since I'm keeping them in the house, I don't have to age them out when they're like teens, so I'm not gonna until these next babies are born because I do not want triplets. But it would make this challenge go faster. She's such a good mom now. She learned from the best. She learned from her mama. Bella's hanging with her sister. That's good. Hope came back downstairs to play some video games. Ooh, five outfits to attract bays. It's doing pretty well. Single girl tries the 100 baby challenge IRL. Only 18 bucks. It's okay. All the rest of them are doing pretty well though. Her homework's complete. Why don't we have her call a, call a sadness hotline? How are you feeling? You got three hours left of being sad. Why don't you cry it out? Hope's feeling actually actually pretty happy after that phone call. I think it helped. Sometimes all you gotta do is reach out and it won't fix it, but it will make things better. We need some baby help. Second trimester. She still doesn't have a new bae though for the next round. So we need to find someone new. Maybe the whole family should go somewhere fun for the day. Look at her eating compared to her daughter. Her daughter eats so normally and she's already done. If that ain't me, I don't even know what it is. I finished my food so fast. Let's travel. I feel like they should go somewhere fun. Maybe they should go to the beach. All right, beach day, and they're all on their phones. Come on, ladies, enjoy yourselves. Makoa, we do not want to join your dive club. Please leave. Yes, queen. Just stay safe, you know, wear sunscreen. Okay, are there any like men in the water that look cute? Who dis? Have we already talked to him? Oh, that's Afu. Hey, we saw him at the gym that one time. Yeah, let's go for it. Go check out that man with the man bun. How are they doing? They're relaxing. They're taking a little snooze. How's she doing? She's swimming to him. She's like, hold on there, sir. I would love to have a flirty introduction with you. You can stay there, it's chill. What's up? Oh, he was down. Compliment his appearance. Wow, why is she under one of these things? Oh, there she goes. She's finally swimming out from underneath that object. Oh, and it disappeared. They're having a pretty nice conversation in the water. Oh, he finds her hilarious. Sometimes the way to a human being's heart is through their funny bone. Get up, flirt with you. We'll talk about this time we He's swimming away. No, swim after him, Casey. Confess attraction. By the way, I'm a little bit attracted to you. Tell a funny story. Oh, we didn't like it. See, people don't really like it when you go in too early with confessing your attraction to them. Oh no, we're going down. Discuss embarrassing mood. Be like, ah, I'm just a little bit embarrassed. Sometimes a little bit of vulnerability and honesty can go a long way. See, he's happy again. We crushed it. No, this man is hard to catch. Fish joke. Oh my God, she's swinging on a swing. I'm so proud of her. How are these girls? Oh, she's sad, but she's having an outdoor time playing chess. Build a sand sculpture with Bella. I think that'd be cute. Oh, you really need to use the toilet. Well, you can use the toilet after. Oh no, did you just go to the restroom in the water, Casey? Did you just pee in the ocean? That's the face of a woman who peed in the ocean. Look at this face. Order some food. Get some fish tacos. That sounds yummy. Brooke's feeling pretty good. Made a baked potato. They made their sandcastle. It's a little gnome. 
Oh, wow, he's cool. Oh, what's up, Hawaii? Oh, wow, he just bailed. He saw her and ran the other way. Look, he's not even there anymore. He gone. That's awkward. That was, I think, a pretty fun day for everybody. All right, there we go. The whole family's going home. Casey's feeling pretty good. She's like, I met someone. He seemed a little skittish, but I think I can crack him. What's not to love about that? It's Ever and Jake's birthdays. Let's get them aged up. I want these Todd's with the least amount of time. Okay, happy birthday, Ever. Yay, Ever aged up toddlers. Day spent playing with toys, exploring the world, and pretty much mostly spent on an iPad. Perfect time to start skill building for the future. Ever is independent, which I love when they're independent because that means they can probably take themselves potty, which is amazing. <gasps> is it Ever's first baby steps in the new house? Come on, Ever, you can do it, sweetie. She is wearing such an interesting outfit. I kind of like it. Oh, it's Tegan. Tegan's home. Jake aged up. All right, and he is inquisitive. How cute. Oh, good job, Jake. They have just such a big family, and she put the baby right into the bassinet. Oh, so good. Okay, get you both eating some food, and then we'll have you both start skill building. I'm pregnant again. He's like, I'm not surprised. Most of the time you are. Oh, this is the first time I've seen toddlers in the new house. It's so cute. They're enjoying their grilled cheeses. He sat in between them and he's getting to know them and learn the communication skill. That's so cute. Look at him little toddling around. You're doing a really great job ever. I'm really proud of you. You're learning some communication. Good job, Jake. Why don't you babble? Let's see if that works faster. Is this helping you learn things? Oh, no, it did. Why don't you babble again? Keep babbling. I know a lot of people have said that the interactions do better than the iPads, but it is easier to leave them on the iPad for long periods of time. But I'm very curious about testing this now. Oh, dang, is he learning fast? Okay, we'll take you to bed. We don't want to anger our Todds too soon. Oh, Jake's already on communication level two. You were just turned into a Todd. I'm learning some hacks, thanks to you guys. Another thing that someone said once was, I think they can have snacks out of those. So I'm gonna put one in the room. We'll see. Can she pull stuff out? She can, interesting. Well, we'll see how it goes. Making friends. I really wanna be friends with someone, but they don't really seem to wanna be friends with me. How can I make them be my friend? You can't force friendship, unfortunately. That's just true. 5 a.m., we got a couple more hours so we can invite over our new friend to make him our friend more. Todd's are sleeping. Every time, though, I think I've mastered this challenge, it always throws something new at me, so we can't rest on our laurels. We have to be constantly vigilant. Oh my gosh, it's prank day. Well, guess who would get into prank day? Bella. Why don't you kind of mess with your sister a little bit? <laughs> she loved it. Oh, that was cute. Why are you sleeping in the tent? That can't be comfortable. Oh, they both seem pumped about prank day. <laughs> These prank things are so cute. I love these prank interactions. I think it's time for Casey to invite someone to hang out at her lot. He will be right over. And we got some more royalties. Whoa, this guy's got different hair now. Oh, I'm into it. Go check him out. Say, hey, welcome to my house. He's like clearly dressed for the beach. Joke about his fashion, be like, hey, you always look like you're ready to hit the beach. And he's like, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I wanna see what impersonate mermaids looks like. Maybe he'd be offended too. Maybe he is a mermaid, we don't know. That's your mermaid impersonation, like this? All right, get to know. And then I think we can kind of slip into a bit of romance. He's like, yeah, you're not wrong. I am looking good today. Eating her food while having a bit of a flirt. <gasps> first kiss, first kiss! I guess she has to finish her grilled cheese first. Oh wait, are my kids up? Oh my God, my Todd's are up. No, there's no food. I need you to cook a grilled cheese for us all. Then I will think I'll just have you babble a lot. Aww, that was actually pretty cute. He seems really into her. Compliment his appearance. I think he's just like a little bit more of a slow mover is all. Ever is doing some heckin' babbling. It's already on communication level two. They're gonna go have a little bit of a makeout session in the closet. He's like, hey, wanna make out? <laughs> oh my God, we're already level three communication. Okay, cool. So what can we learn next? Can you potty? Oh my God, you're going potty alone because you're an independent being. Ever's gonna teach themselves how to potty. She doesn't need anyone teaching her how to do things. Oh no, you're hungry. Oh no, it's okay, Jake. I got gr grilled cheeses for you. 
There you go. What happened to your friend? You were supposed to be seducing him. I left you alone for one minute. How are you doing, Jake? I'm sorry, Jake. Jake came to sit and eat in the in the toddle room with his sister. Oh my gosh, Brooke just did extra credit for no reason, except for being a perfect human. Why don't you potty train Jake, since Jake needs help? Ever's actually doing pretty well with imagination. Trying new stuff. You know, it's easier when there's only two and I can focus on them. And I don't have to focus on any of the other kids because they're all done. Don't make a mess in your mom's room. All right, Babel with your bunny friend. Well, who am I? I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up and all of my friends seem to have it figured out. How do I figure it out myself? Study for a high paying job. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell her that, but I would tell you at home that just notice what you find fun and do that. That's your, you know, brain's way of telling you, hey, you like that, you should keep doing it. That's you, but study for a high paying job. I want you to be responsible when you grow up. Look at my beans. I need you to keep communicating to that rabbit. They're teaching themselves their own skills. Oh, you're angry. Why are you angry? From playing with toys. All right, why don't you stack? Well, you're so close to being level three communication, so I'm gonna make you talk to this again. Talk out your feelings with your rabbit friend. There you go, Jake. There you go. How are you doing? You're getting a little hungry. Conveniently, you guys are right next to the kitchen, so I can just pull things out and put them in your room. Oh, he sat up on top of the cooler that I thought was gonna help, but then didn't. Ever's reached level two of the movement skill. Oh my gosh, my children are geniuses. <gasps> Become best friends with your mom. Become best friends with your mom. Love that for them. As my best friend, I would appreciate it if you stop mess with my plumbing and don't eat my leftovers for my children. We did a successful holiday for like once. It's amazing. I like how the rest of the Impeachment Shmay children are kind of used to this by now. Like it's pretty much a norm where like none of them are upset or alarmed by Chelsea's presence. Chelsea, get out. Go wash your hands. Make Chelsea get out of there. Yeah, I know you can't do anything. Chelsea, stop trying to help. Chelsea, it's not your house anymore. Move on. Good job. Chelsea, I swear. She just fixed that. Oh my God, is she doing her homework? I didn't even ask her to do that. My kids are so good. She's in her swimsuit staring at the fish tank. Attempt an introduction to Chelsea. I don't think she's introduced herself to her grandmother yet. Hi, I'm your granddaughter. Oh, it's cause she's a celebrity. That's hilarious. Sorry, Brooke, I'm letting you do all the, all the dirty work here. But she's handiness level two now, that's nice. My face is a mess, I can't go anywhere looking like this, what can I do, I'm hideous. Just try some nice makeup, you're doing fine. Rise and shine, kiddos. Jake has reached level two of movement. Look at Casey, she's looking at him, so amused. She's like, those are my babies. Winner, winner, Bella won a school prize. Should we give it to her in front of the class or quietly and privately? Yeah, announce it publicly, but give the prize privately. I think that's that sounds good. <gasps> Casey's gone into labor, oh my goodness. Why are all the doctors ghosts? This is their father, this is the, oh my gosh. Hope's dad. Okay, I guess this is ghost hospital. Adeline, our ghost doctor, is gonna make sure we're well taken care of. Congratulations, it's a boy. Casey just gave birth to a baby boy. All right, this one's cute. This one says Lindsay or Juliet, and for a boy, Romeo. I'm gonna go with Romeo because I think it sounds so cute to name a little boy Romeo. So we're gonna have our own little Romeo in the house. Romeo Peaches May, welcome to the family. And it's another boy, okay. This one says, can you name a boy Caesar in honor of the salads? That's fine, and also I'm pretty sure that is also a Shakespeare character. I'm gonna name it Caesar for the salad and also for Julius Caesar, the Shakespeare show. So Caesar and Romeo are our two new additions to the Impeachment May family. We had a lot of ladies in the family recently, so it's good to bring in a couple more boys. Let's age out some of our kiddos. Which girls are already A students? We could probably get them to leave school early. Yes, you should skip school because it's birthday time. How are you guys doing? Ever's fine. Ever can be working on maybe thinking, and you can also work on thinking. Yay! Okay, well now it is birthday time. I guess we'll invite Afu over. Let's have Casey make the cake, because she, she seems like she's fine. Romeo's hungry, and so is Caesar. Oh no! Once you finish that, why don't you go feed Romeo and Caesar? Oh, Bella just returned from school and is an A student, so we could technically age all three up at once, but I think I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. I don't want triplets, I'm just too horrified by the consequences of these actions. Woo! 
Hope aged up and she is family oriented. That is so sweet. After all of her time with the Impeach Shmay family, she has become a family oriented bean and I love that for her. Happy birthday, Hope. I'm so happy that you got to age up and now it's Brooke's turn to blow out the candles. Everybody, happy birthday. Ah, Brooke aged up. And she is a child of the islands as well as being a bookworm, a foodie, and wanting to be famous someday. All right, and then add some birthday candles before people eat it and then put it back in the fridge. These two ladies are gonna be moving in with their brothers, Brooke and Hope. Yep, moving out. All right, now we got two babes. Two Todds in a teen. Kelsey, don't panic. They can smell fear. Invite over to hang out your new bae. Oh yeah, you'll be right over. Great, look at him, he came running. They always do. Casey's doing a little bit of flirt action, giving him a heartfelt compliment. Try for baby in the sauna. We wanna try it in a new place every time, you know? Well, no one's been in the sauna yet, so this is the first time, everybody's first time in the sauna. Oh, it gets very steamy. Are you farting up a storm or? Yep, looks like you were. Level four for Jake from communication. Okay, oh, they looks like they finished up. They take that pregnancy test, see if she's uh, pregnant. Eating for two, Casey's eating for two. Casey is number one, let's go, let's do it. Casey is gonna tell him the news while he's still in the sauna. She left and came back and was like, pregnant. Oh, it's our other baby. Why don't you give him keys to the house so he can come over whatever he wants? It's Archer, Archer came by to say hi. Good to see you, Archer. Bring up an embarrassing childhood moment. He's like, please don't embarrass me, mom. Ask about his love life, be like, how's your love life going? She's so intrusive. How are we doing on levels? It's communication level four, movement and imagination two, thinking is almost one, and potty we need to get going faster. How's Ever? Ever's doing great. Three, two, two, one, one. We can age up these babies real fast, we can do it. By just sitting there, he is absorbing massive amounts of information. By staring at the wall and farting. Fix the babies and you need to change some diapers. Hungry Todd moment. Why don't you potty train ever? Come on, I'm dividing the the work between you two. What are you doing? Oh, you're going to school. All right, we're all alone with the babies and toddlers. You need a little bit more imagination, but not by much. You can play with the chompy masta. You may go potty. We gotta do this before these two babies age up. I think they age up tomorrow. You can just keep going potty. Ever reach potty level two. Good job, Ever. Bella's been having problems. With she can't get past A. Okay, so she's still an A student, which is really good. She's like, it's raining. I don't wanna be out here. And Ever is crushing life as usual. Good job, what a good sister. All right, we're level twos. We only have three things left to do. It'll be level three. Oh, he just missed level two, are you kidding me? Go grab a serving. Why are you sad? Always oh, scared of thunderstorms. Ooh, Bella acquired the wellness school? Girl, where? She's doing that yoga. We stand a wellness queen in some white jean shorts. Since you're chilling, potty train Jake as well. Get him finished there. He's almost done, there he goes, level two. All right, he's level twos on everything. And then maybe like an imagination, play with the toy. Oh, you're almost done with thinking. Whoa, okay, just keep going there. Oh my God, you're so close. Yes, level three, we're done. You're done, you're done with thinking. All right, now I just need imagination, potty, and movement. All right, Operation Todd is in effect. Yeah, also work on that movement. Gotta f go far distances. 2 a.m., toddler's awake, working on her thinking. What is this? It's the last thing at level one of the kids. Ah, oh, yes, queen. Okay, now that you're done, you can get to shaping. I guess the baby put themselves to bed. This baby can get up though. I guess we'll take them one at a time. When one goes to sleep, the other awakes. It's like a perfect dance. All right, and what do you need? Imagination, perfect. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You got this, you got this, I believe in you. You're almost there, oh my gosh, you're almost to level three of imagination. This is amazing. Yes. You're done. Ah, it's Romeo's birthday and Caesar's birthday, oh no. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You're almost there, you're almost there, Jake. Yo, okay, let's go. Oh, you need a potty? Convenient timing. This is it, can we get this kid to finish all of his things before I have to age up two babies? Bella's returned from school. Come on, come on, buddy. Going down to the wire. There's a baby upset. I guess I need to take care of that. We got a hungry kid. Oh no, is this boiled? Oh no, don't eat that. Don't eat that spoiled food. Cook a party size grilled cheese. Come on, buddy, you're, you're almost there. Come on, you can do it, Jake. 
It is! Jake is level three on everything. Our very first Todd to age into kid in the new house. I'm gonna leave this here because I'm a little bit afraid of what's gonna happen next. Thank you guys as always for leaving a lot of tips in the comments. Keep making your baby daddies and baby moms for Casey and leave them in the gallery. Make sure they can all impregnate Casey because that's the whole point of the show. Make sure to use the hashtag, hashtag Kelsey100BabyChallenge and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.